welcome to Den of Tools. Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Jeff No Red here today. We're doing a quick one because I'm about to bug out. The heat down here has gotten insane. And so I am leaving Las Vegas, headed to Montana. This is the route we're taking. It's about the only one there is. Uh, so it's not secret or anything. Uh, it's about 14 hours. We leave Vegas, clip uh, the corner of Arizona, go through St. George. Beautiful little town. That's where Zion National Park is. Up through Utah. Nice drive through Utah. Just The mountains on one side are just absolutely epic. Uh, right through Salt Lake City, the cleanest large city I've ever seen in my life. It's kind of freakishly clean. Uh, through, through Ogden, over to Pocatello, Idaho Falls. Kind of, I'll be honest, southern Idaho is not the most exciting place to drive through. But then we start heading up into the mountains, uh, up into the Yellowstone area. We hit Ye West Yellowstone, the freakishly coldest city I've ever seen in my life. The it's going to be, it's going to be in the low 30s this this week in West Yellowstone at night. Uh, so we will not be staying a long time there. On the way through uh, through Bozeman down into Livingston, I'm so looking forward to this. You have no idea. I am. I can't wait to hit the road. And we're we're leaving at oh dark thirty tomorrow morning. So uh, wish us luck. Anyway, let's get into some of the deals. It's gonna be quick here. Olight. They were gonna they were gonna cancel their their sale they're gonna have this month. And I reminded them, hey, it's Father's Day this month. And they went, oh, bleep. Uh, so what they did was they said, how about this? Let's let's set up a deal just for your viewers. So this is going to be an exclusive Den of Tools here. It's going to start on Friday. I'm going to put the, the link and the code down below, but it, it, you're not going to be able to start it until Friday through the weekend. And they said they, could, they can, as long as you buy it this weekend, you can get shipping. They should get there in time for Father's Day. Uh, they're, they're doing the, the Baton 3 Premium Edition. I've showed it to you before. They sent this to me a while ago. And, of course, the missus stole it from me because it's fantastic. I'll be honest, it's not an EDC thing, I think, for guys because it's a little big. It's like a jumbo Zippo lighter size kind of thing. It's a little big to carry in the pocket. It's great for carrying in the truck because it's got its own battery kind of thing. And the battery life on these things, like this is this is the one I keep at my desk. It's... Uh, a little bit bigger. It's, it's this version here with the right angle light. And I haven't charged this since we left Montana back in January. And it's still, oh, I cannot believe it's still got a, like almost a full charge on it. And we use it all the time. I use it when I grill. Uh, it's got a magnetic base on it. So when I'm grilling in the evening, because you don't grill during the day here in Vegas because it's hot. <laughs> Uh, you sit it on the grill and it, you know, casts its nice light right across the grill. It's great. And uh, I use it all the time and it's still got battery. I, it's weird. Um, anyway, so this is the one here. The baton's the one that's got the battery. You put it in this little thing and the battery bank charges it. So you only have to charge it once every, I don't know, epoch or something. These things last forever. All right. Over at Walmart, we got some closeout deals on some heart stuff. Uh, we got the Hart 90 piece uh, quarter inch and three eighths inch mechanics tool chest, tool chest, tool set, chrome finish for twenty eight eighty eight here. Uh, it's a nice basic, you know, good you know travel uh, toolbox kind of thing there. Nice and slim. You can put it behind a seat in your pickup truck or whatnot. Uh, another option here, we got the Hyper Tough 107 piece. It'll get the job done. Is it the best tools out there? No, but it will get the job uh, done. It's a great starter set. It's a great travel set. If it grows legs. Eh, it was 20 bucks. Uh, how about this? This is sending by a viewer. This is a nice find. We've talked about this one before. I rather like it for a small shop. It's the Hyper Tough 20 inch five drawer rolling tool chest cabinet with riser, which gives you that nice little hutch kind of area in the middle. Great for charging. You put your chargers in there. It's fantastic. You've got a pegboard kind of uh, style on the side there. You got all sorts of hangers and whatnot. Look at that. This is a great little setup for $98. Is it as good as the Craftsman one? No, but you, it's bigger, and you got more options and more flexibility with it. All right, over at Lowe's. This is, again, sent to me by a viewer. It's the Metabo 12-inch sliding miter saw for $369. Understand, that's now cheaper than both the Hercules and the DeWalt and pretty much everything else in its class. Now, granted, it doesn't have a drop shadow light. It has the laser. That is the zero rear clearance. If you can see, it's got the shotgun style rails that over under here on the side. This is a sweet little setup, $100 off. 
why would you not get this if you're going to put it in a shop setup? There, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. Uh, also, if you don't want to go to Lowe's, and I don't blame you, uh, I mean, I like Lowe's more than Home Depot, generally speaking, but if I don't have to go to the store, why? Because I can get it off of Amazon. They'll deliver it with Prime for free for the same price, and they'll get it to me in like two or three days. How do they do that? This thing's a boat anchor, and they ship it for free. I, I will never understand that. Anyway, so same price on, on both of those. It's Well, it's the same item, so that's why it's the same price. Uh, let's see. There you can see the uh, the shotgun-style rails on that thing. Very similar to uh, what uh, Makita does. They've got theirs on the side at an angle for some reason. Anyway, let's move along. We got a couple Craftsman cabinets. We got a, a bottom chest for $289. We got the top chest for $259. Let's see what else we got. We got the portable uh, tool storage. If you don't want the full pack out esque kind of thing, you're not going to play Jenga with all your, your toolboxes. I don't blame you. This is a great one. Look, you got the bottom uh, part for just chucking all your tools in. You got small compartments kind of thing. You have a smaller box up top. It all, you know, compacts together. Let me see if I can get a pick of that up there. Like for easy storage and travel, not a bad option there. All right, next up, we've got over at Tractor Supply. Again, this is another clearance item. It's $15 off. It is, this is one of your typical high-low style jacks. They're calling this the Bulldog Farm Jack. $75 down from $90. That's a, that, that's a great deal, right? Those are great. You, If you've never done any off-roading or stuff, you can use these things for all sorts of stuff. That people use them like a, a come-along. Of course, they high lifting. They could use them on the farm. Just th these things are incredibly powerful with what you can do with them. All right, over at, at uh, Fleet Farm, I just want to point out that they're doing a spend fifty dollars in Milwaukee hand tools and get a ten dollar gift card uh, with code uh, Milwaukee fifty. So if you want to scroll through there and check out all their Milwaukee hand tools, if you've been looking to get in that line, you can get yourself, which is in essence, ten percent off. So that's not a, a bad deal there. All right, over at the Woots, we got some Klein wrenches here. Normally $251, 40% off, takes it down to $150 bucks there. Uh, we got Irwin Vice Grips. This is the number one selling on Amazon in needle nose pliers, and it's on sale right now for $719. This is one of the lowest prices I've seen on this tool. That is definitely a buy it now price on that. Uh, we got the Klein Tool Bag, 14 Tool Bag uh, Backpack, Heavy Duty Tradesman Pro Tool Organizer, yada, 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 po 39 Pockets and Molded Base. Uh, normally, it was $89, and you're saving 15% on that, down to $76. Those things don't go on sale a ton, so seeing a deal on that, that's a pretty good uh, option there. Now, how about this? We got the Crescent 18-inch Rolling uh, Tradesman Rolling Tool Bag. This thing is 45% off the lowest price I've seen on Amazon yet. Uh, $119. That is a great deal if you're looking for something like that. All right. How about this? We've got the Crescent 15-inch adjustable black oxide tapered handle wrench boxed. Anyway, this is not made in the USA. I know it says Crescent. Everyone thinks Crescent wrenches are all made in the USA. But again, remember, you can just look at it. 15-inch Crescent. If it says made in the USA... It will scream made in the USA on it. Always do like it shows you down here at the bottom of the handle, a little arrow telling you which way to turn. Remember, that rule is for adjustable wrenches because they have weak spots in them because of the, the little gearing in here. That does not apply to open-ended box wrenches, okay? All right, next up, we got Lufkin. How about this? Normally $19.15 on sale for $9. That's 53% off for a uh, 25 foot command control series yellow clad tape measure I, I like their tape measures they're not the best tape measures in the world but they're decent uh i ran across this and i really i honestly don't know anything about it i've never tried this brand thought maybe some of you guys could comment i'm sure one of you has, has probably tried it uh it's got pretty good let's check out see if we got a fish hook here on the reviews sorry i just had to edit out moto there trying to ring my head off there uh anyway so just a just ever so tiny little hook there at the end. Not too bad. Nothing I would worry about. But anyway, what I like about it is it uh, converts to a straight mode. Uh, also converts to a right angle. It's magnetic at the base. Nice little work light there for, was it 17 Normally $30. Marked down to 
and there's a coupon code or not coupon code but a coupon check mark box you can click there and you save an extra 10 percent off of that i love stacking deals like that all right now we're going to get into some of the stuff that i've purchased recently as i said i told you it'd be a quick one here today uh, I, got, I got to finish packing and get on the road. I got so much stuff to do. Anyway, I just want to talk about this because I tried these FM transmitter things uh, back in the day when they first came out, and they were terrible. They were just absolutely terrible. And uh, so we got the old Suburban there, and of course, you know, I'm, you can try and put a new stereo in. There's no reason to do that on a truck like that. I'm not going to put a couple hundred bucks into the stereo on that thing. That's just ridiculous. But I listen to a lot of audiobooks and uh, want to be able to use my phone and stuff with it. So this plugs into the cigarette lighter, gives you an additional little USB port down here, and it converts your Bluetooth signal then to FM, and you tune it in there on your uh, on your radio, and now you've got Bluetooth on your radio, and it works amazingly well. I was stunned for nineteen dollars, way better than trying to like get a whole new bezel and try to adapt one of these newer you know radios to a really old truck. Uh, anyway, I was pleasantly surprised. All right, sunglasses. Okay, so the wife, for some reason, decided to pack my Maui gyms in with her bags, and so she took my sunglasses. I had a cheap pair that I kept in the truck that melted in the Vegas sun, so I needed something else. So I got these. That's This is these right there. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm pretty happy with them. Are they the best sunglasses in the world? No, but they're comfortable. I got to tell you, I'm actually pretty... Uh, I'm trying to think of a polite word to saying it, but picky when it comes to like having light, comfortable sunglasses. And a lot of them give me a headache. Uh, I don't like them to pinch too hard or anything. And I got a, I got a fairly big head. Uh, anyway, uh, these things are great and they're polarized. I will only ever wear polarized sunglasses. That that's gets rid of the glare. Then you don't have to have those super dark lenses. You can have something a little bit lighter so you can see better, adds better contrast. Anyway, for $22, comes in a, comes in a great little zippered semi-hard case uh, with a bag and a microfiber cloth and stuff. It's a pretty good deal. All right, moving along. Uh, this, I just grabbed this, uh, <laughs> bought this for my son because I broke his other monitor. Uh, I was moving stuff around on his desk. I was in a hurry. I was trying to set up a, a shoot for something because I have his desk sit over next to me. And I grabbed the monitor by the top and I basically put my thumb through the screen. I uh, don't even know my own strength. And he was uh, not happy with his father at that moment. So I went a little crazy, went a little bit overboard. And I grabbed this Dell uh, Curve for uh, uh, $202 for a 27-inch ultra thin it, this thing's fantastic it is and the matte finish on it, the anti-glare on it is astounding we opened up the garage door for something i looked over and his screen still looked perfect all of our other screens were completely washed out from the glare i can't say enough about that monitor all right uh this fan now i know there's, there's nothing special about these fans everyone's got these you know wire floor fans uh it, but you know what? So <laughs> we work out of the garage out here. And of course, there's no AC out here. And it's Vegas. So what do I do? I am um, here. Let me let me show you behind the scenes here. See that door back there? <laughs> That's the door to the house. Keep that door open at all times. And sitting at the base of that door is this fan. And it runs pretty much 24-7. Uh, I, the only time I turn it off is for doing this video and I'm already starting to get hot. I'm not even joking. It's already, it's 1044 in the morning. It's already over a hundred degrees here. Uh, so this thing has been, we bought this, huh? It doesn't have the little, you bought this thing on this one. That's weird. Uh, we bought this about, uh, beginning of April and it's been running pretty much nonstop since, and it's a lifesaver. Uh, it puts out it puts out a lot. I mean, high speed on this sounds like uh, a, a turbo prop taking off. Uh, it, it's a great fan, and for the price for thirty five dollars, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, let's see here. We got this. Thing. I've talked about this before. This is this silly little thing for, for those. This is only for people who use a GoPro. If you don't not using a GoPro, you're not going to be interested in this. But this little thing pops open. You have a place to charge three batteries. It came with two knockoff batteries. 
they seem to do okay. You cannot charge, or you're not supposed to charge, standard GoPro batteries with the knockoff batteries, so you have to make sure which ones you're putting in there. It's got storage spot up top for, you know, extra cards, and then there's a spot right here, right, right there. It's an SD card reader. So after I use my GoPro, I put my batteries in here to charge, put my card in there, close it. It's now water, I would call it water resistant. They call it waterproof, it's water resistant. Um, USB-C on the back, plugs in, immediately have access to all my, my, uh, my, to my video card or to my, my memory card, and it starts charging. Also, it's really, you can't really see here, but there, ooh, that is washed out. There are three lights underneath the plastic on this or the rubber coating. So you can actually see what the charge level is uh, and tells you what, you know, whether you have a fully charged battery or whether it needs to get charged. For $37, I think it, it's it's great. It, it changed the way I use my GoPros. All right, this one, I've talked about this before. Uh, the Nico bit set here. Let me, in fact, I think I got it right here. Yes, there's a ton of these security sets. Harbor Freight sells a version like this. There's this thing right here. It, it's it's not standing out. It comes with the great little uh, ratcheting, uh, uh, what do you call, screwdriver there. Is it the best ratcheting screwdriver I've ever used? No, it's not. But you know what I like about it? Is nothing else I have is that color blue. And when I need my security bit set, when I got like some weird thing and I'm frustrated, I know, just look for the blue box with the blue screwdriver. And that's my solution. I like this having these different color codes. It makes it easy to find stuff. All right, next up, we've got the Voltec drill bit set. All right, I got this thing back here. It comes with like paper on the front. I took the paper off because it was annoying the snot out of me. Um, this thing is not high end, okay? I'm not going to try and tell you that it is. What it is is it's kind of a catch-all solution like I can't find blah 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 or I need this one weird thing and this is all of it let me see if I can pan it there in front of the camera you can see everything it has this is your I need that one weird you know I need this bit I need this this drill bit I need a, 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 a hole saw I need whatever I need a spade bit you know, as I said, I've got two shops set up. I've got the one here, and I've got the one in the Montana. I've, I've got more of my stuff up in Montana. And so sometimes I just need a quick a quick and easy solution here. And that's my quick and easy solution. It was $46, and it covers everything. Just covers everything. All right, now, not a sale here. Over at Harbor Freight, the one of the new items they have is the new 8,000 lumen adjustable head screw-in shop light. I just had to cover this because this has become a big thing, these, these kind of shop lights here, where they, um, but this one's different. It's not the kind, or maybe it is. This is weird. Okay, it is. It is the kind where it screws in and it just replaces what it, the bulb, if you will. For a second there, I thought it was the actual uh, fixture and I would have been surprised they were selling something like that. Um, I, when the, a lot of companies have been selling these, a lot of cheap versions out there. I don't know how good this thing is, but I've heard a lot of people recently say that if you do get a good one, they can be pretty fantastic. We'll have to see if this one pans out. Uh, if you do happen to pick this up, $30, let me know. I'd like to get your feedback on that and let you uh, let people know, you know, is this something that they should consider? It's a new item, probably going to be showing up in stores and such uh, soon. All right, and last but not least, we got... Just for Father's Day, free shipping on all the stickers and books and stuff over at thedentatools.com slash shop. Uh, okay, yeah, we always have free shipping. <laughs> anyway, I just want to throw that in there in case you're wondering uh, if there's something you're looking for for Father's Day. We're still trying to get stuff out to you. Uh, we got the Shine On stickers, the Team Tool Bear stickers. We got the Team Tool Bear magnet, the little Shut Up Motos. We got the hats, and of course, we have the Home Distillers Workbook, Your Guide to Making Moonshine, Whiskey, Vodka, Rum, and so much more, as well as the sequel, How to Make Beer. Uh, so anyway, if you're looking for that for Father's Day, check that out. That's all I got time for today. I got to go pack. It's getting hot and hot, and I hate, anyway, I got to deal with it. Just got to get it done. Get on the road. I cannot wait to be up in Montana. Next time you see me, 
I may do a quick video from the road on the way up to uh, Montana tomorrow, but otherwise it'll be Wednesday and I'll be up in the great not so hot north. You all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.